In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use a sign rule to find a missing side. Now, just like we mentioned in the previous video, the sign rule uh, can only be used when your question involves two pairs of opposites. So you're looking for a question which gives you three bits of information, and you're looking for a further piece of information, either a side or an angle, and the question will always involve two pairs of opposites. Okay, so uh, just to remind you, uh, the sign rule is, of course, uh, A over sign A equals B over sign B equals C over sign C. So these three ratios will always be uh, equal when you're talking about a triangle, where the capital letters are the angles and the lowercase letters are your sides. And at national five level, this will appear in your formula sheet. So you just need to know what it means. Okay. Now, let's have a look at a couple of examples. Okay. So first of all, we see here that we have a pair of opposites, an angle and its opposite side, and also we have another pair of opposites. So we just start off by substituting in the, the various different values we're given. So x over sine 70, that's going to be the same as 7 over sine 80. Using cross multiplication will uh, bring everything onto the one level. x times sine 70 gives us x sine 70. And that's going to be equal to 7 times, sorry, that should be x times sine 80. And that's equal to 7 times sine 70. We are engine to get x. We find that x is 7 sine 70 over sine 80. And to one decimal place, we get an answer of 6.7, and your units will be meters. Okay. Let's have a look at a second example. Here we have, again, a triangle, and the question involves two pairs of opposites. So we can start off by saying uh, x over sine 111. That's going to be equal to 11 over sine 52. Again, cross multiplication gives us that x times sine 52 is equal to 11 times sine 111. We are engine to get x, dividing both sides by sine 52. We get that x is 11 sine 111 divided by 52, uh, sine 52, sorry. And that gives us an answer of 13, and it's 13 centimeters. Okay. Now, you can often come across questions like these. Okay. And you have one pair of opposites, and you might think, well, this isn't a sign wheel question because I don't have two pairs of opposites. But you can work out this third angle. So remembering that all three angles add up to 180, we can work out that this angle must be 56 degrees. And now that we've done that, here we have a second pair of opposites. Okay, so although we weren't presented with two pairs of opposites, we've been able to find two pairs of opposites within this question. So again, carry on as normal. Sine rule, so we'll say that x over sine 56, that's going to be equal to 15 over sine 35. Cross multiplication, x times sine 35 is equal to 15 times sine 56. Dividing both sides by sine 35 gives us that x is 15 sine 56 divided by sine 35. And that gives us an answer of, to one decimal place, 21.7. And your units will be millimeters this time. Okay. Now, let's see if we can give you a couple of questions to do yourselves. Okay. So see if you can, first of all, find x for this triangle. So pause the video, have a bash, and check back to see if your answers are correct. Now in this question, 
we've got two pairs of opposites presented to us there yeah, quite clearly. So we'll start off by saying x over sine 27. That's going to be equal to 15 over sine 67. Cross multiplication gives us x times sine 67 is equal to 15 <coughs> times sine 27. Dividing both sides by sine 67 gives us that x is 15 sine 27 divided by sine 67. And we work that out to one decimal place at 7.4. <clears throat> and your units will be meters. Okay. Remember, of course, to have your calculator in degrees when you are working with uh, uh, trigonometry. Okay. At this stage. Next question. Uh, we we have a pair of opposites there. We have an angle and its opposite side, uh, but we don't have any other pairs of opposites. But because we have the two angles here, we can easily work out. The third angle. And we work that out at 60 degrees because all three angles add up to 180. So there we have a second pair. Okay, so we can say that uh, x over sine 47 is equal to uh, 70 over sine 60. To cross multiplication, get everything onto one level. So x times sine 60. That's equal to 70 times sine 47. Divide everything by sine 60, and we get that x is 70 sine 47 divided by sine 60. And we work that out to one decimal place at 59.1 uh, centimeters. And with all of these questions, always ask yourself, does my answer make sense? Does it look in proportion? And there you have a side of 70, and this side at 59.1 looks correct. Okay, so that's how you use the sign rule to work out a missing side. Uh, just take care to make sure that you substitute in correctly and make sure that you uh, don't make any silly mistakes as you work through uh, the question. Okay, so I hope that was helpful.